welcome back to Tuk's Craft Table. How's everyone's doing? Um, it's another beautiful day today and uh, I just thought I come and do the flip with you and uh, I was on strike yesterday. <laughs> I just hang out with uh, Darcy and um, didn't do much so I didn't film and uh, I just thought um, maybe I film every other day or something like that. I don't know how often I would uh, I would uh, film because I chat with a, a, a couple of friends about how um, maybe people are, are down and losing mojo and they don't watch the, the video much. They don't uh, so the the views are going down and uh, the subscriber um, Maya is going up I, th I think because of uh, Gail's and a couple of come from Gail's and Wendy's and then come from Patty's and Maggie's and Lori's and thank you all ladies <laughs> you have been so wonderful to me and um, so but the view is not it's but i'm okay with that i just i just don't want to feel that i create a very boring content and it's not that interest and i know it's everyone doing the same thing and but just keep in mind that even though, though we do the same thing but it may not turn out the same just like today i'm gonna do what Gail did, um, uh, the, this uh, triple flip, whatever, and you can take a look at Gail's um, flip and then look at my flip. It's it's gonna be different. Like she put the ruffle and I didn't, but it just gives you idea of the possibility of, you know, the basics of somebody creating something and then you can build on or you can just even just use this different paper it's already look different make it your own style and all um so i think maybe that's that's another reason that people don't watch youtube much um they just find it we all do the same thing <laughs> so i don't know i don't know maybe give suggestion like what would you like me to share like if you see I do something that that I haven't show you how, then then put it in the comment and then say you would like to to would like me to show you how I I do this and stuff like that. And um, I I don't know. Um, maybe I'll come and just do my thing, just like. Um, Gilda, she just create her own like ephemera, just put on the video and just film and and maybe that. I'm just worry so much. I think that's why I don't film a lot because I'm I'm so worried about what to put on, what what to share, and you know, and and it's you know it take a lot of time to video. Like you spend a couple hour filming you know some because i edit my video right so i film and then maybe i stop and do something or like and then editing another like hour to edit and then couple hour to upload it's a lot of work like you know uh, so and that's why i want to make something that is interesting and and for you to enjoy watching and for me <laughs> to feel encouraged to make a video you know what i mean so i'm sorry to to rant at first but um that's that's what popped in my head yesterday so i just just decide just to you know spend the day because it's so beautiful out so i was just playing with darcy outside and downstairs spend a lot of time downstairs and then we went for a walk nice walk and yeah and uh it was it was a beautiful day so so I really enjoy that and then last night I was I I create this kit like um, a week or so ago uh, but I just put it aside because 
other things come up <laughs> and I get sick and so I so I get to f finish it last night it's going to be a sewing theme I call it the the dressmaker because of one of the titles in here and uh, so it's gonna be really romance <laughs> theme um, I actually bought an artwork from two art shop from Etsy. One is from Screech Owl and the other one is the, um, the design uh, shop. Pr your print design shop. Yeah, it's your print design shop. I will link their, their website down below. They sell their overlay files that you can use and then you have a commercial license come with it. So um, I actually talked, uh, I didn't ask Laura because um, her term wasn't sh wasn't clear so I, I asked her and then she said of course so I, I told her to look at my shop and see what I create and then she's like go ahead <laughs> so nice thank you Laura if you're watching this and uh, Skrisha has a very clear term so so if you want to create something and don't know where to find uh, the graphic and, and images, check them out. Like like the Krisha, they she already have a couple design for you and has some element for you, so you can choose anything like like this flower from Krisha, and then I just you know um, you can buy like um, a piece, and then you can just combine like cooperate in with your design here so anyway um, so this is gonna be the sewing theme kit and I just finished the page I haven't done the ephemera and other stuff yet so I just done and it's I love the reason I want to do this when I found these images at um, Library of Congress I'm like I want to do a wedding theme but then you know I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be like, you know, <sighs> it's a... anyway. Um, so I thought I would incorporate it in with the sewing um, kit and make it roman romantic sewing kit. <laughs> It's like when, it, like, for me to think about, like, we make dress, beautiful dress in the in the past, because we are going to party or going to the ball, going to something, and that's what like made me want to do this theme. And maybe I watched Lori too much. <laughs> I love her story. If you don't um, follow her, she's a girl on the ridge, Lori. For us, so I think <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, um, she made she made her journal and she has a story to go with the journal, and uh, yeah, so it's beautiful, isn't it? Like, um, like this flower and uh, from Squish Isle, and then the element of the element of from your own your uh, design shop. And uh, your own design shop, I think. Oh, I can't remember her shop, but I will make sure I link both of them below. But the images are from Library of Congress. The ladies, I meant. So I'm really, really enjoy making this kit, actually. It's, you know, just like... I love, I used to dress up my daughter. <laughs> Maybe that's why she doesn't like dress up anymore. She doesn't wear dress. My daughter never, like after she can, she can demand her own clothes. <laughs> she doesn't wear dress anymore. Not even skirt. Her, her prom, her graduate uh, from grade nine, she wear dress, but from grade 12 on, she wear pants. <laughs> oh, I think I, I damaged my daughter. 
but anyway so we're gonna do the flip uh, this one um, so it's it, I think Gail called it the um, folio flip or something so it's like a big flip fold out so she she does have a, a triangle pocket here and this one I did similar to her um, and then I just did my own collage and then I just used the pocket that I have already but she mostly she leave it blank and she just did the stencil but I have so much of these and I thought you might want to use it more um, rather than like write on it and then I have this pocket and her was blank and more stencil and then she has ruffle and some collage on there and then on this side I did some collage here and then I have I add some of my envelope and then I use the this envelope to make a tuck both and the envelope flap what do you call it and then I add some uh, magnet so it's it maybe it's too thin after I add glue it doesn't it it hold but it's not going clap it doesn't like you can see it's so maybe today I will use the thicker one this is like super thin and uh, so and then when you flip over you will see the envelope I need, this is um, another thing that I need to think about is I, I, I don't I didn't leave enough room for for the page to fold because it's so thick I kind of leave a little bit but then I think next one I'm gonna give more space for the flip to flip back nicely and then on this one I add the envelope and then I have another tuck here and then I just add this doily here so you can have a spot for writing and mainly just to cover the end of this tag and then I have um, another pocket here to and then just so I can cover this tag so that's I hope I don't confuse you too much <laughs> and then how we tie it we just close it like this okay so let's do this one so the girl use uh, folio um, folder not for really. she used manila folder uh, she used so it, uh, it would be I use this book page so it's not too heavy for the book so we need to do the three fold so fold the, these and these are the same size and this a little shorter um, let's just make it easy to close down and then I prepared the pocket before you because I need to sew them. I mean, I once we cover these, we need to sew them too. So I prepare the cover, and here's my triangle pocket that will go here. And I prepare the just a um, piece of cotton for here. And then I prepare the tab, two tabs that gonna be go in the end. Prepare envelope, and I need a couple. Here's my doily, and I need a couple pocket from my kid. I have so much of these <laughs> from my test print. I just want to make sure that my design is like come out. Um, the way I wanted it so I print test print test so many times like like this kit the sewing kit I have so much already that I need to use so I'm gonna uh, finish the flip and then I don't think there is anything in the book that I need to show with you more because mostly just 
tacks and pockets and I mean the ephemera I will find some something to put in and I'm not gonna fill the pocket up because I think it will be too big for the journal and then whoever want to get this journal they won't have room for it if I filled it up too much so I'm gonna leave some room I will give some ephemera I will fill up some spot but not all of them and uh, oh um, I was sitting and playing ar around this morning and um, you know you can you can uh, instead of fold it backward the flap you can uh, glue it and slide it in this way maybe it give the um, the center is like a stronger for the paper clip to clip on. Um, let's see if I have any envelope around here. No, I don't. Just to show you how, you know, I think you know what I meant to put the slide in together and glue, glue them on. Yeah, so I'm going to make more of those. So, so much fun. Okay, I need to stop sidetrack. <laughs> um, I put down these hinge first, the fabric hinge, and then I will cover them up with the paper. And um, and then I once both side cover up, I need to go sew it down. So I'm gonna glue down these. By sewing them, we'll make them. Um, we'll make the hinge stronger, too. Um, I would be like about about uh, one centimeters that I give room here. I leave out more room, about an inch over here, because I want to give extra space uh, there. So. So now we can cover up. I I love this kit so much. <laughs> I'm gonna be using them a lot. Let's see. So I'm covering it all up. Um, especially the fold. If you are make if you are covering section, make sure you put the washi tape down where the fold folding because this is going to be breaking in the future so I'm gonna have the sewing um, uh, sewing kit both in TN and uh, and regular. So um, I am thinking that July. For the TN, this is for the subscription. Um, I shouldn't call it subscription because people are really nervous about being committed to buy it all the time. But uh, I should call it at um, the T 
TN uh, pre-order. So, so in July I will do um, a boho theme. July and then um, September. Oh, August. Sorry. <laughs> I'm jumping ahead. August would be a sewing theme. And September, I haven't thought about September. And then October, we have Thanksgiving. Yeah, so that's what's in my head. So if you want to suggest September theme, um, welcome. Even if you're not. Um, request for pre-order you can you can suggest it too <laughs> I mean I still open for two spot it's in my shop if you are wanting to try and see what they look like so I have to plan ahead because I have to find the element that go with the, the kit and all that so that's why I put it up now and uh, So that I have the number to prepare and thank you so much everyone for uh, for subscribe thank you Joanne and to let me know that you want to continue I'm so glad that you, you like it and, and Carol <laughs> and thanks so much for the postcard it really meant to me really appreciate it so don't worry about these um connection because um it will be the pocket. The pocket will cover up here. So you don't have to to glue that too. But I did it. <laughs> and then we will do this side. You might hear my tummy growling. I had um, some rice and tofu. And some soup. I think because of my bad habit of sleeping late and sleeping in, so I don't really get hungry like in the morning. And then after, and then at lunch, that will be my breakfast. And now would be my lunch time. That's why my tummy is growling. And then I, I won't hungry again till like nine. I know it's like really bad. And, and I promise my husband I will slowly adjusting time. Which, which I go to bed at eleven now. Like, which is good. It's a good time. I just need to keep that up. <laughs> My brain just doesn't work that way. I don't know why. Like I'm always feel create at night. I don't know about you all. Like like after nine o'clock I feel like oh I got an idea. I gotta do it. Otherwise I will forget it. And that's how I, that's why I, I get um, so fresh after 9 p.m.
You see, this is why you don't need to get a um, manila folder, file folder, and then if you don't, if you are in the country that you hard to find, just find a, a book, an old magazine or book page that has some weight to it, but not too, too heavy because we, we're going to add so much layer to it, so it's going to get thicker and stiff. So I am going to go to the sewing machine, so I will edit this part off. This. this is how it's going to go, right? This is the hinge. So. I know you shouldn't be folding when the glue is still wet, but gotta do what we gotta do, right? How your fold gonna look like? Okay. Yeah, this is bad. So we can deal with these first. Put this pocket down. I mean, if you want more space to write, you could just leave all blank and um, maybe do a little bit collage here and there and leave all these to, for writing. But if you are um, like having like photograph or some notes, you may want to have like a pot lots of pockets and tuck to put all those stuff, right? The pieces that you have. And uh, because my journal that I made, there's a lot. I think it's enough pages for writing. <laughs> but maybe not. <laughs> Some of you write so much. I you know one of my friends who is a good... Um, <laughs> She's also a customer and then become a good friend. She wrote so much and she can go through like my gigantic journal in a month. She actually she she has a YouTube uh, showing her her how she journals so I can share that. I will link her channel below too. So this one, what I I did, I did the collage, right? So let me glue this down first so I don't forget them. No, they can become no scent um, when we try to do this. Okay, let's get the envelope first. This envelope. So if you want to decorate furthermore on the envelope, you could too, like um, add some lace um, or, oh, you know, whoops, sorry, sorry, you know, this paper that I have, I could do that, yeah, let's, why don't we do that? I just back inside the envelope with just um, the what do you call the book the another misprint from the kit.
So I'm going to put the glue down along here and the center here. I know it looks like um, a waste of paper to to back it, but it adds um, thickness to the flap and then also give you the nice background for these. because I don't know why it's so strong when they alone like this but <laughs> it's not easy to get them out uh, so we want to do the top part first it with the fabric just I have this uh, linen here so I'll cover it up and then we will um, collage over then then but try not to cover the magnetic part okay now we have to find plus or minus right side put the glue on this end and flap it down and then you will see the mark where the where you should put your magnet down. And put this one over. So my work is not perfect or neat <laughs> if you know if you know me. So I just do the more time I spend to make it perfect or neat, I you know, the more I don't do well because whatever come to my head I gotta do it now. That's why I go to bed. <laughs> there, I want to hear that sound. <laughs> okay. But that one didn't make the sound because I make the thin one. Okay. I need to put something, something, something. So we have one of these pockets. It just fits so perfect. And then we would have one of these triangle pocket. And we need to decorate this up. Oh, my leg sore. <laughs> From walking yesterday. You see, when you don't walk for so long, 
Yeah. It's 45 minutes. It's not like a straight walk, right? It's up the hill and so we have a ravine behind our house and then you have to go down and they are fixing the stair. So we have to go around at the way, take a long detour and then come back, come back up. It's really nice. That's why it's it's going to be hard for us if we sell this house and then trying to find something equivalent. Like not the space or the size, but you know, just what we have around here. We live right in the, like, in the middle of the city of Oakville, but we have so much space and the, uh, the ravine and then the tree and the and the trail, this Trafalgar trail that have like, if you can continue, that's about three hour walk. Um, connecting to the little trail. Oops, oops, I think I need to go down further. So I mail off a few orders in the Friendship Square. It feels so good. It took like all morning to do the shipping. <laughs> I'm really bad with packing um, stuff up. And then I, I was the bad girl. I, <laughs> I bought a bunch of stuff from Patty, Patty Lang. I will um, link her channel as well. She's selling vintage um, antique, not vintage antique stuff. She has some. Um, she only sells it on YouTube. She do a live. So tonight, yeah, she did, she did every Monday and Thursday night sale, but she might have like um, a preview of what's going to go in the market in the next day. So if you don't shop, even just to come and inspire, you know, there's so much. And then she has other arts. Um, a seller and artist sell stuff on her channel as well so I thought it's a good um, good way to to put the market up and you know sell some helping friend and sell some stuff some of these and then label what's this it's 
sugar. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's do it. So I'm gonna try to finish these two um, journal on the weekend and then we'll share the flip through on either Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, depend when I can get it done. Um, but I'm gonna aim to get it done uh, on the weekend. I also have love to make um curtain too this weekend oh so much <laughs> suddenly <laughs> so but i have to finish this because it's my finishing month and once i finish these i will work on my long waiting Beatrix potter siri but i won't show them I'm just gonna do the back um, on my on my time, but I will. I have an idea. I know a lot of people doing an idea book, so I will show you how to make a raggedy journal and to prepare for. I'm going to make it as in my idea book. So, but I'm gonna use the raggedy pattern or style. Um, to to do that and let's get some nice butterfly to cover that up to cover these as you may notice that I didn't I'm not inking these because it's gonna be uh, more pastel shabby not not so vintage um, where is my phone yoga mm. right. Something is collapsing. <laughs> that is pretty. This fussy cutter from the graphic fairy, and I have this stamp that I got from eBay. So I'll put that on my envelope. Oh, she's so pretty. to put too much on here because it may not um, glue I mean it may not like a snap went down to get him like twice and he won't come in <laughs> who wants to come in right it's like 20 degree outside or something. <laughs> That's so nice. I'm not blaming him. But he's been like laying on the dry leaves <laughs> and when he come in I, I have a hard time cleaning off like bits and pieces. So I have to brush him every time and he he doesn't like it. <laughs> Maybe I'll do this.
Okay, and then they may be able to get some. Maybe get some blank one. Just in case you want to write your own note or quote. I can hear it. I can hear the snap. Happy, happy. Okay, let's put the stamp on. Oh, she's so blend in, but she's so pretty. Canada, five cents. I don't remember when I paid for five cents stamp. Okay, I think I like that one and I like that one. Now the last one before we can put on pockets. So we need to put down these. But we need to punch the hole first. This is the green file folder that I have like a, a little bit uh, what you call like a scrap so I just punch it out to use so it's super strong This tag I already back up with the cardstock. The art glitter grew so good for this kind of project because it go into small spot and then um, grab it so quick. pocket on I didn't uh, line the pocket this pocket paper print on 28 pounds if you want to see um, what are they it's in my favorite um, favorite supply and tool it will be in my on my website. The link will be um, under the description box. And we have these. My husband do a lot of training, so he will be really loud on the <laughs> on the next door. <laughs> he do. He train on Zoom. I mean, you go a little bit more, cover up. Okay, that's it. It's simple, right? I mean, if you have all the element ready, it's um, it pretty quick. Am I off the screen the whole time? 
I forgot to check. I'm so, so sorry. So, it's super simple and... Um, where's, where's my flap? So, let's get the flap out. And this is how you tie it together to close this part. And this part will be on the page so you don't need anything to secure so let's review open to tuck spot here and just some nice collage you can put some quote on here and on this part you have pocket pocket and then when you when you flip this way you have pocket and then another pocket here Okay, so now uh, let's put this tie. It's about about that. And about that equally. So and I'm I'm really thank thank you for everyone who left the review for the product that you buy and you seems to be very happy. I'm so so happy and then thank you because it really meant a lot for my shop that have a review and all that. And uh, also thank you so much everyone for commenting on the video. Another thing that um, YouTube will recognize me and will recommend my video to other if you give me thumbs up um, and commenting. Like the more interacting uh, video and then the more they will recommend your video to other. I don't like I don't like YouTube that way, but you know that's the only platform we we. Oh, it's way too long, right? So I think I might have to lose um, a lot of these. Yeah, we don't want that long. I wonder if I will save these. <laughs> I can use that. Yeah, so if you if you don't want to, if you have nothing to say, maybe you could just leave me a heart emoji or something or anything, right? Um, that way, YouTube will count it toward interaction so that would really help help me with my channel it made me feel good too right that that I didn't just <laughs> talk away by myself <laughs> at least someone listened to me or playing along with me or you know yeah so how I attach these it's going to um, going to glue on this side, so it's gonna glue these two to the, to here, All right? And then when it flip, so this time I'm gonna leave enough room for for the flip uh, because it's thicker than I thought, so. I didn't leave enough um, enough room, so I'm gonna go to the edge. Lots of glue. I'm so addicted to gl art glitter glue <laughs> because it gives really neat um, finish and it doesn't seep through your fabric and it's super strong oh my tummy is really rumble still not like um, it's subtle from the it's 
still, you know, when you have muscle, um, when you're sick and your muscle works so hard, and I think you still feel that. And I think it's a good um, a good sign as well in the job market <laughs> because I was um you know I told you that when I tried to find job uh, for a long time and then I was and then I was with a few um, headhunter or recruiter whatever you call them these days and I've been getting so many email from them and then one is asking if I want to go in and talk about reboot my resume and serious about getting a job <sighs> I don't know <laughs> I love what I'm doing here but you know Having a real job, it would be so nice. Don't tell my husband, he will kick me <laughs> out any day <laughs> to find a job. <laughs> so, that's it. That's it, that's it. I hope you like it and I hope you will try. Uh, I mean, not to do the folder, I mean, you can try this technique or you can try and, you know, some people don't know how to put the magnet together and you probably could do a better job than me and uh, I just don't want to, to lose the magnet feel by collaging so much stuff over and I just, and I want to have something that I can pull like that when you open, like, you put finger down both and I mean I could probably you know what oh this is so perfect I think I can do this this is tatting beautiful tatting let's see I think it will go oh if I clip this open and look I think I can have it Yeah, I think I can <laughs> I can cover that ugly ending linen. Okay. This is perfect. Okay. And let's see. I hope it still stick. Oh my! Now I'm feel embarrassed. Stop, Tommy! Oh. oh, look at that! It's so pretty, and that tatting just so perfect. Just this part, but I don't mind this one. Okay, we are done. Yeah, give it a try and, you know, I know we all love flipping things and interacting page. So, and then I will do the Jikur collage on my own and I will share you how it turned out. And I will decorate this book and 
I'll come next week to show you what they look like when it's done. Thank you so much everyone for joining me today and hopefully you have a wonderful weekend. And uh, yeah, tomorrow's Friday and uh, enjoy outside, spend time in the sun. Take this advantage. Bye!